Warning, cheaters may contain adult themes and strong language. Parents are cautioned that this program may not be suitable for children. Coming up on this episode of Cheaters. What happened? What did I go wrong? I mean, what did I do wrong? Let's get into position so when they leave that store, we take yeah. them down. Who is this? This is just a side thing. A just side a side, side thing. Go on here, go on. Peep out somewhere. She goes, she, she'll call me later. Oh, it don't even matter. From Cheater Surveillance Cameras, you are about to view actual true stories filmed live, documenting the pain of a spouse or lover caused by infidelity. This program is both dedicated to the faithful and presented to the false-hearted to encourage their renewal of temperance and virtue. Just like he's just trying to keep a big secret from me. I just can't go on anymore. I need to know the truth. I don't like being the one that has to show you this. Oh, Jesus. I asked her about his, and she said nothing was going on. Do you want to confront him? Oh, yeah. Hey, me there. Yeah, I got him. Hey, go. Go. Get down, get down. Get down. Get down. Real Reality Television is brought to you by Cheaters Detective Agency's Private Eyes on Cheaters. Welcome. I'm Joey Greco. Thank you for tuning into Cheaters. Meet Fred Calhoun, a well-mannered gentleman troubled wondering how the mother of his child spends her nights. Needing to settle his disquiet, Fred turns to Cheaters. Fred Calhoun, age 26. A shipping supervisor worried that his girlfriend may be handling other packages with greater care. Me and Tasha have been dating for about a year, a couple of months now. Met her back when, let's say, the summer of uh, 90, 99, 2000, around there. Um, everything's good, you know, everything was good when I first met, you know. I met her working at Dairy Queen. And she drove to the drive-thru and uh, was getting some ice cream. After the first you know, month after the baby came, you know, things where she was just like, just be gone sometimes. I can come home, you know, and her mom was watching the baby. And I'm like, you know, where's she at? Oh, she said she went such and such. I mean, at first I wasn't thinking that nothing, you know, I was just letting it slide. It's not a problem. It's nothing, something it wasn't get big, but it's starting to, you know, get, you know, you know, you know, continuously and just continuing and continuing, you know. I'm starting to pick up a little bit more on it, you know. And so, I mean, that's when it really just started really kind of falling off the end there. You know, I have been to them bad relationships and them good relationships, and I figure right now this is my chance to shine and, and you know, step up to the plate, be a man, and, you know, and raise a family, and, you know. And this is what I'm trying to do is raise a family. I just didn't know that she's there. I hope she's not doing nothing. You know, I'm just, I just need to get it off my shoulders because it's really eating me up inside. It's hurting me bad. And I mean, it's just, it's tearing my heart apart. If you suspect infidelity in your relationship, Cheaters licensed investigators may be able to provide you assistance. Exercise your right to be informed. Latasha Johnson, age 21, a home nurse allegedly straying from her residence to give more than care to another man. Investigation day one. Inspectors patiently stake out the home that Fred shares with a suspect. While Fred is away at work, cheaters agents stay alert for any sign of movement from the suspect. After a short time, she emerges from the house and begins to walk towards the street. An unknown driver slowly pulls up and the suspect, Latasha Johnson, hurriedly jumps in. The two proceed to a nearby eatery and cheater spies are eager to see what their affiliation is all about. After getting out of the car, it becomes evident that these two are not just friends. The unknown male is spotted draping his arm around the shoulder of suspect Johnson. After dining leisurely, the duo hobbles out of the restaurant and back to the man's car. The unknown companion appears to be scoring some points with his potential bed buddy. He opens the door for Suspect Johnson, hops in, and heads off down the street. Suspect Johnson calmly enters her house, where Fred patiently waits for her arrival. Cheetah's crews close the day's surveillance and head back to headquarters. Investigation Day 4. 
like clockwork, Suspect Johnson comes bulging out of their house and once again hops into the same white car. Cheater's agents track their moves and stay close behind the couple. After a few miles, the male companion, who has now been identified as Larry Mixon, pulls into the parking lot of a popular dance club. These two apparently are ready to tear up the town as they head inside the club arm in arm. The duo spends a couple of hours in the happening nightclub and Fred is defrauded once again. Companion Mixon drops off his sugary sweetheart a few doors down from the residence and she quickly bolts indoors. Cheater's PIs call it a day to review the stats. Investigation day five. The very next night, Cheater's crews are back at the suspect's house and as usual, Fred is hard at work. The suspect and her companion are evidently creatures of habit, as Mixon once again shows up at the house to pick up Johnson. Cheaters is aghast when Mr. Mixon pulls into a rundown, sleazy motel frequented by prostitutes and drug dealers. He hops out of his car and rambles into the office to get a key. Fred is left in the cold as Latasha gives him some double talk in a taped telephone conversation. Cheaters has made its case and contacts Fred without delay. After the break, the confrontation. Sadly, Fred's nagging doubts about his girlfriend are confirmed, and Cheaters rushes to bring him up to date on Latasha's unfaithful conduct. Demanding answers. Fred willingly witnesses his lover's hidden side. Hi, right, Fred, thanks for making it out here with me tonight. I know you had a long day at work. Yeah, yeah. Let me go ahead and bring you up to speed on where we're at with your case. I think you'll find, as I find, that there's some problems with your relationship. Mm -hmm. On this day of investigation, outside your home, this is Tasha, she leaves the house, she gets into this unknown vehicle. My detectives followed them over to a, a local restaurant. He's got his arm around her. Mm -hmm. He also opens the door for her. And here he is. They leave the restaurant after dinner. Now, we stayed on him, followed him all the way back to your home where he drops her off. She goes in. Mm -hmm. And that was it for that night. On this day of investigation, they went out for a little partying. There they are, arm in arm. And they go in this club where they danced. They had drinks. And then we got footage of them leaving again, arm in arm, having a big time. All while you're at work. He drops her off a few houses down, and then she goes on in. On this day of investigation, this is the pinnacle. This is where it all happens. The woman that says she loves you, the woman that had your baby, can she explain why she gets picked up by the same guy, goes to this motel, and gets a room? And then they go in the room. Two, three hours later, they come out. I said, that's enough. Fred doesn't need any more heartache. He needs to know the truth. They're right now at that Marshall's department store together shopping. My detectives are on them. And what I want to know from you, do you want to confront her? Do you want to talk to her yeah. tonight yeah. now? Yeah, right now. I mean, what happened? Where did I go wrong? Let's get into position. OK. So when they leave that store, okay. we take them down. Okay. All right? All right. Let's go. Yeah, now they're going out the front door. Okay, all right, we're rolling. 
Tosh, what's going on? I mean, what are you doing? Who is this? Are you what? cheating on him with cheating? this man? Can you explain what you've been doing? I mean, are you cheating? Me and you are not getting along. You're not helping me with the baby. I mean, I work though, Tosh. I don't work. All you I do is work. You don't pay any attention to me. I raise the baby. I raise the baby by myself. No, you much. don't. I you work. Do not I work. You not me at all. So what? That doesn't so, mean nothing. But I go to work. Okay, working, yeah, what, you go what, to work, and what do you do for me? What do you do for me? Coming home and taking care of you in the bed. No, you do not. I was, I well, don't you want a house? Every don't night. you want a house? Don't you want to be a family? Oh, and you're helping me by doing what? Oh, yeah, I mean, you work I mean, and what? So I what? I've seen y'all going to the hotel. I mean, what's up? I mean, I mean, what's going on? I mean, Did come on. Do you know that she's living with him? Do you know I mean, they have a baby the together? I don't even know what? who he is. We got a kid. We got a kid, Sasha. So what well, doesn't mean nothing? We don't months. have love, though. So, yes, we do. No, we don't. I mean, so when we sleep in the bed tonight, I mean, okay, at you, night. You don't touch me. You I don't not, touch you. No, you don't. You don't even hold me anymore like you used yes, to. Yes, I do. No, you yes, don't. Yes, I do. You're yes, lying. You're lying to I'm me. I'm not. Whatever. Okay, so when's the last time you put your arm over me at night time? Every night, time? Tasha. Every no, night. No, not every night. Every I'm night. Front. Kiss no, you before I go to work. Night. Kiss you when I come home. Come on. I work every day. I'm tired sometimes. Can I come and get some sleep? Why don't you put your arm around me? I don't have to. Yes, you do. No, I, mean, I don't. You're not. Yes, you have do. you ever explained this to him? You're missing something. He you ever knows explained it? it? He knows it. He How knows can he know it? He can't read no, your mind. But I will ask it's you one thing. Way. Why weren't you honest with him when but I have surveillance were, you know, footage of you with this tape. man? I don't say. Both of y'all. Going out dancing, going out to restaurants, and then going to a, a local hotel. hotel. Coming up next, the conclusion. With this tape. man. I don't say. Both of y'all. Going out dancing, going out to restaurants, and then going to a, a local hotel. hotel. How long so have y'all been you together? Love her? Uh, you know, you so love him? For like yeah, about five, been... six months. You know what I'm saying? No kidding. So, I mean, all I can say is I'm sorry. We have a baby, Tasha. I understand that. I'm you sorry. told me y'all wasn't together no more. Well, we were going through rocky times, and me and you were not talking then. So, I mean, what, what can I do? I mean, be by myself? Is that what you want me to do? Tasha, I'm here. I mean, I come home every day. I'm trying to build a family. See, what about me and my emotions? There's nothing there. There's How nothing do you feel there. about this whole thing? Yeah, I'm just. Are I you in love with her? I mean, you know, I'm trying. You know, she. You know, we met. You know, about like five, six months ago at the store. You know, I knew she had a baby by some guy, but you know. But I don't love him. What her I told. Well, I mean, told me well, was then then not what together. you doing, Tasha? If you don't love them, I mean, just, you love me. I mean, I what, you me? what do you want, Tasha? Mm -hmm. I want to be with him. We have a baby together. We've been together for two years. This is just a side thing. Just side, a side thing. Yeah. How do you like that, being called a side thing? Is that good for you, you know, Five months? You call that a side thing? Yeah, side because thing. he wasn't there. But we're going to have to make this. How many times do you have some more side things? You know, you're going to be side kicking no, everywhere. We're not do it just, just whatever, because... you know, whenever you get the feeling. Not going to communicate with me. Let me okay, know. Okay, can I talk? Or talk. Can I, I mean, talk? Tell me something. I mean, it's I just... want to know. This is no more. No more. No more. I'm be with you. I'm gonna be with you because our baby. We've been together baby. two years. Yeah, Look at me. Talk, okay, I'm sorry. Me, but you don't I'm talk sorry. To me. This is this is it. I'm through with this. I'm through with this. We have a baby together. We need to work it out. And, and, and you're okay right. with that? Just I'm being sorry. thrown aside? She'll be calling you. She'll be calling you. Yeah, Calling me crying, tell me she needs this. She won't call you, man. She ain't gonna be calling you. She ain't gonna be calling you. She ain't gonna be calling you. Don't even try to like that. She ain't gonna call you. Oh, I'm there. You know the number. I'm there. That's it. She ain't gonna be at the same club where you're gonna be at. It's not even gonna be like that. You know what I'm saying? Just call me. I'm the man. You know what I'm saying? You know the number. Your night's over with, man. Your night's over with. 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 I'm sorry, I really... Is I know, key right it's, now. we're just gonna have to, we're just gonna have to work through this, okay? Can we work through this? We need to talk, just we need to talk. Okay, can we work through this? Are we still gonna be together? We'll talk about it. We're gonna talk about it. So you think that she's gonna come back calling you? Yeah. Go, go to the car wash or something. Go, so go, go on, clean this up. Go do something about leave. this. Go trade it in. Whatever so. you leave, call me. You want her to come with you? Yeah, we, we need to talk. We need to talk like now. We're gonna be five men together. We need to talk now. We're gonna be five.
She can go. She, she'll call me later. Oh, it don't even matter. You know how that goes. Visibly shaken by the confrontation, Fred makes it clear that he has no regrets. Later in the show, Cheaters let you in on the final outcome of Fred's harrowing story. But now, Cheaters revisits Michael Oliver, previously caught with an internet escort. Michael returns to Cheaters to explain his wanton actions. Michael Oliver, age 39. Michael accepts Cheater's invitation for a second look at the events concerning his earlier confrontation for infidelity. Well, when you first rolled up on me, it was kind of, it was uh, more like uh, shocking to see someone coming and following me behind with cameras uh, to try to, you know, pinpoint my every movement. I didn't know it got that serious, but evidently it did. Who are you? Who's that? Mike, who's that? He just walked out with her. What are you doing? What are Who you is doing? that? What are you doing, baby? Who is that? Hey, man, wait a minute. Hold up. Who, who's that face. girl? Wait a minute, baby. Hold, hold him up. What are you doing? Who, who's what? that girl you're with? Who are all these people? Where's my damn car? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. You know, there's, there's a lot of things going through my mind at the moment. Uh, probably when I was younger, I'd have probably, I'd have probably done. You know, but uh, growing with age, uh, I thought I thought a better thing to do. I, I thought I'd want to chill on that, well, yeah, but I was, I was, I was really pissed. I was pissed like uh, you really just didn't know, <laughs> you know. At Cheetahs, not only at Cheetahs, my wife too. Come here. Like We've been following you for the last you been, week. You've been having these people following me. Look, get, yeah. get that out of my yeah. face, man. Yeah. Get it out of my face. What are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? I'm not doing anything. Come on now. Can Wait you explain to yourself why you've been lying to your wife? Man, you ain't got nothing to do with this. Get, get no, that. No, I do. Help me see what you're doing. You're fine. Yeah, we broke up. You know, it, 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 it was as part of it, you know. It didn't, you know, it did a little bit to me, but uh, it's something I get over. You know, it ain't no, it's like, <laughs> I ain't finna go and take my life over it. That's what you're trying to, you know, I wouldn't go that far. He'll, he'll just try to lie about whoever she is. I'll just say it was a friend. He came over or something. There, there, there wasn't much abuse. Uh, I would say, yeah, it was an accident. It's, it happened. Uh, we got a little, the conversation got a little heated. But it wasn't nothing like, a, you know, it was an every, every week thing or, you know, a, it was kind of ongoing problem. It wasn't. You know, we have, we have our problems. You tell me what couple doesn't. You know, and uh, <laughs> the abuse is, is, is just not just, you know, on one sided. But, you know, I don't. I'm not going to go through that. You think he's going to try to hurt you? Would he try to hurt you for this? Well, I didn't think he was going to try last time. What cheaters did, what you done to me, I think it was a big part. Y'all played a big part in, in destroying my marriage. I wouldn't, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not happy with him about that at all. You know, <laughs> I wouldn't want to uh, have a job getting paid doing something like that, turn, turn somebody's marriage apart. But like I say, you got a job, you do your job. But, uh, you know, you, you, uh, you saved a lot of hurt. You know, it made me understand my, from my mistakes I made. Although Fred Calhoun is open to patching things up with suspect Johnson, he's made it clear that there will be strict new rules that she must follow if he is to consider reconciliation. He states that Latasha will no longer go out at night when he is at work and that she is to spend more time with their daughter. Fred emphasizes that these new terms are non-negotiable and that he will not put up with that kind of behavior again. Latasha admits that she was doing the wrong thing but insists that Fred was partially to blame. His lack of attentiveness and affection played a major role in the resulting infidelity. Latasha experienced difficulty in accepting blame for her role in the matter and had reservations about even speaking to Cheater's producers. Larry Nixon only offered one comment. All I know, he said, is that I tagged that and that makes me one happy brother. <laughs>